Good morning. Thank you for joining us on the empty side of the table. So again, um, in doing our review, our chubby little thumb hit the record button a second time, so our video stopped mid-review. <laughs> this is the result of our latest um, Chess X Pounded Dice. Now yesterday we um, were getting a bit restless, so we went to our local game store and found a pair of these beautiful, beautiful uh, decks of poker cards from Bicycle. Uh, one was from the Stargazer series, and that was for uh, the Sun or Fire or something like that. Beautiful deck. And the other one was called Dark Mode, and the design was kind of like a circuitry or something with Tron like colors, blue and um, green. Two beautiful decks. So we got home, did review the reviews of those, and uh, went to a porch and noticed that <coughs> this was sitting out there in the Amazon packaging, obviously. So I went immediately to do a review of this, but a battery is dead. So we charged the battery and had to wait <coughs> a whole day to um, do this review. We didn't have to wait a whole day for the battery to charge, but uh, by the time the battery was charged, people were out and about and being stompy stompy. So couldn't really get that much done. But with this order here, we got three different styles of dice. Oh, I'm sorry, three different sizes. Eight styles of the normal size. But with this order, we got 111. 111 dice. That's that's pretty amazing. But also with this order, we got 30 of these uh, red dice with yellow pips. That's a bit insane. And uh, as you can see, the variety was a bit lacking. There are no speckles in this though, which was also kind of nice. But with the speckles, while they're kind of uh, a throwaway style, you do get some um, a decent variety of them. We've been seeing a lot of uh, this um, swirl of color of uh, blues, greens, and maybe a little bit of purple. These here, these are kind of special um, because they're they're translucent, clear, with like um, swaths of blue in it, clouds or what have you. I think they're pretty neat. These are a bit more icy. Um, and they've got like swirls of white in it, maybe, with silver pips. We've been seeing a lot of these purples, but they're also pretty nice. Not a fan of uh, colored pips though, I just like them to be either black or white. So as I was uh, finishing my review, I was talking about what I'd been doing with these smaller dice here. So uh, normally in the apothecary jar, not this one but the other jar that's actually full, we had been stacking these at the top to just kind of fill in whatever little spaces were left but there were quite a lot of these. And we have been getting all these and we've been trying to switch out the translucents and the swirlies with the more solids in the apothecary jar, the ones that we could reach. and putting the solid non-special ones in there. So as that was getting full in the apothecary jar, there was starting to not be a lot of room for these. So what we did is we put them in there. Now this, uh, this thing here is from, see? This thing was from, I uh, picked this up at an anime convention called Fanime several years back. There's a vendor there called Wild Bills, and they would they were selling like uh, artisan sodas or something like that. And if you bought this mug, which was pretty pricey, but if you bought this mug, um, you were able to get free refills for the entire weekend. And I thought that was brilliant. Should have tasted the soda first. Um, I'm sure there are other people that'll like it and everything like that. I'm not all that particular, but to me, 
there was let's say five or six different flavors and they were all grossly oversweet sweet to the point where the sugar was overtaking the actual flavor that the soda was supposed to be they had like uh, cherry a couple styles of root beer cream something like that and um oh my gosh yeah they were just so sweet and luckily they had uh just regular seltzer so what i would do is i would fill this up maybe a third of the way and the rest with seltzer made made it a bit more tolerable but we had this uh on a shelf and we figured we might as well do something with those little dice so because uh like a dunder head i pressed the wrong button and you weren't able to see me open up the bag and dump out those dice. I'm gonna do that with this. To just show you how many we have. Let's try to move these away. Oh, come on. There we go. Some of these are a little bit longer than the palm of my hand. So I can't just move them all in one go. Get over there. There we are. Now this uh, dice dump isn't going to be quite as exciting as with the bag because the dice are smaller and they have to be more careful because one wrong move and these are going to be all over the floor. Yeah, this is, this is feeling scary. There we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. So these are all the smaller dice that we've amassed with our chess X orders. We've been putting them in here. Now with, uh, gotta keep these separate for now. Now with these size dice, we have the greens and the reds put into a separate bag as for some reason or another with a good amount of those orders, any dice of this size, were either green or red. But there are a few uh, odd colors. For instance, the past two orders had um, a yellow die of this size. We didn't really have any place to put it. So we had uh, yet another big separate dice bag for just all the odds and ends. But we decided to do something else. I'll bring this along just for show, to show you where I have it. Yeah, it's going to look a bit dark there. Sorry for the lighting, but this is where we've been putting the uh, odd colored dice. So we got a nice little shelf of dice bags, dice cups. Pretty cool, yeah? Um, this shelf in particular is uh, being used to store some of the small micro games and the card games that never get played. All right, so let's go back. So this was our review for yet another Chess X pound of dice. I'm really sorry for botching it. Hope you all have a great weekend. Stay healthy and as always be kind. Thanks a lot.